What's going on, everybody? This is Brian from SneakerFiles.com, and today we're going to bring you a closer and on fee look at the Air Jordan 9, known as Kobe. Now, these are set to drop this Saturday, November 19, 2016. Retail price will be $190, and you can cop these at Chic Shoes Retailers. There'll be a link in the description below. I'm sure everybody already knows kind of like the history behind the shoe, but just to recap really, really quick, they uh, Kobe Bryant was a sneaker-free agent back in the early 2000s. And one of the brands he was wearing was Jordan brand. And this shoe, the Air Jordan 9, in the Lakers' home colorway, he was spotted on court with. So they decided with his retirement to bring them back. They're still supposed to be a Kobe pack. I don't know what the hell ever happened to that, honestly. They should release that. I think that's dumb. Uh, to my understanding, it is now a friends and family type thing, but who knows. But anyways, we're not talking about that pack. We're talking about what's at hand, which is the Air Jordan 9. So we got leather up top and patent leather through the mud guard that extends across the heel. And that is done in that purple. I know a lot of people are thinking it is blue because some photos, it is purple. And it's it's a Lakers purple. So for all you Lakers fans out there, in my opinion, this is a must cop. Um, I'm not a fan of the Lakers. Um, I respect Kobe. I respect his game, what it once was. I mean, I'm sure he's still can still ball, but you know he's not on the court anymore. Um, so we got all white on the uppers, and it is a full grain leather. It's the you know the quality. Eh, it's it's um, it's not bad by any means. It's I'm more I was more worried about the craftsmanship, and no complaints here for craftsmanship whatsoever. Uh, man, good job, Jordan Brand. I'm like. I really saw nothing on this pair and a few others, so I was like, okay, um, damn, they might be doing good. But either way, you know, make sure to check your pairs. So we got two, three on the hill. So the OG player exclusive that Kobe wore had his number eight. I know a lot of people were complaining, oh, they should have had the eight. You know, they probably could have had the eight or one. Nah, I don't know if it looked right with one eight and one two, tw uh, 23, but it would have been cool if they had the eight. Either way, I don't really mind it. But then we have that globe in the Jordan brand up here, done in the yellow, and then all purple patent leather. Like, these are dope. I think these are a sleeper. Like, people are going to sleep on these hard. And um, in hand, like, they're dope. Like, definitely, like, pictures, you know, there's so many pictures and people aren't using right lighting with it. So, they could almost look blue, and it's not the case. Uh, not at all. It's they're purple, so I just want to get that out of the way. Got purple all through the mud guard, most of the midsole, bit of white which extends to the outsole, and then on the, down the eyelets we have metallic silver, and that is plastic, hard plastic. Um, and then we have mesh on the bottom part of the tongue. Up top we have. Air Jordan, which is done in yellow, and then we have purple. So bringing you to the liner really quick, and the inside of the tongue, done in all purple. And I did pull out the insole, which is white and yellow. Now I know a lot of people don't care about the insole because you're gonna wear your shoes, and that's fine. Um, but yeah, this will pick up shit, as you can see. I haven't put these on feet yet. Um, I'm going to, after this little segment of the video, I'm going to try them on to let you guys know how sizing goes. But now let's bring you to the sole. So we got an all white sole and then the Jumpman done in yellow. I think overall the Air Jordan 9 is kind of one of those models that people sleep on. I know there's a good following of them and I like them. Um, and that's, you know, it is what it is. I definitely, I don't know what it is, but I've seen only like two to three, maybe even four legit reviews on the Air Jordan 9 on YouTube. And I'm like, are people just not feeling these or what is it? Um, so I'll get on, you know, the info about copying these and the outro, uh, after the on feet, but this is the Kobe nines. And to me, Definite buy. I'm not even. A, I'm from Sacramento, so I'm a Kings fan. Now, for those that know Sacramento Kings and Co and the Lakers, like we, you know, we don't get along too well. 
I don't care. I mean, I do care, but I don't at the same time. Like, I'm not one of those sports fanatics that wants to fight and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, and I still, I respect his game and I respect what he's done and, you know, the legacy he put out there. So, and this PE, I remember just seeing images of it before even the thought of this shoe was going to release. And I just like, damn, I wish I could own these. Well, second best thing, but let's jump to the on feet. everybody so that was your closer look and on feet look at the air jordan 9 known as kobe they are set to drop this saturday november 19th 2016 retail price will be 190 and you can cop these at chic shoes retailers link in the description below now they do fit true to size size 10 and i have no issues so uh when i pick mine up i'm definitely gonna go with the size 10 now you know what? To be honest, I really do think these are going to be sleepers. I have seen some people inquire about them. I have seen some interest in them, but not a lot. Like, you have the holiday season coming up, which, you know, there's a lot of stuff coming. So maybe people are more worried about maybe getting the Space Jams. Um, uh, what other shoes? Like, the even the uh, Space Jam 9s, they're calling them. Or the OG 9s, you can call them whatever. Um, so more people are worried about getting that kind of stuff. And I think that... People are going to sleep on these in them down the road. They're going to, people are going to not want them. Now, in certain areas, I think they're going to sell out. Like, obviously, LA. Um, I don't think, you know, like in Sacramento, they're going to do great for obvious reasons. But to me, I still think these are dope. Um, I, I just, the quality, uh, the quality is decent. Like, it's good. Um, it's just the leather isn't perfect by any means. The patent leather, it is what it is. And but the craftsmanship, they did a lot better job. It seems like um, they're starting to listen a little bit. But we're gonna see on some upcoming releases also. Um, so I do think they're gonna sell out also on the sneakers app. Uh, definitely, definitely on that because everything pretty much sells out there. But I think like for Finish Line and uh, other places online, they'll, they'll take a minute to sell out. And so to me, like if you want these, it should be an easy grab. Um, not to say they aren't dope by any means because I want them and I'm going to get them. Um, I'm just letting you guys know, but leave a comment below. Let me know what you think of them. Oh, just a quick question for you guys. Um, if you've listened all the way through this rambling, I was thinking about getting this little, like for the outro, like a turntable type thing that transitions and moves the shoes around as I talk on the outro. Uh, let me know if that would be cool. If you guys like to see that, or do you just like it standing still right here? But uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned to sneakerfalls.com. And if you haven't yet, make sure to subscribe.